Hey guys, welcome back. So this week I'm actually posting part two of the Love on Fire gameplay that I did a few weeks ago. I want her to be uncomfortable, so suck my toe. So this is just episode two of that series and I hope you enjoy it. Two, your first date. Welcome to your first elimination round. You need two votes to be safe. I can do that. As a reminder, you speed dated Chris, Theo, and Chloe. Let the voting begin. Do you vote for Chris to say, I like Chris? No, I don't like Chris. Who's Chris? I don't remember our date at all. It happened two minutes ago. I don't remember it. Was he the guy that I said I was gonna put a whale on my boob as a tattoo? A whale on your boob. That's so sexy. <laughs> No, it's not. Um, let's keep them though. Let's just do it. Absolutely. Yeah, we had fun, kind of. Do you vote for Theo to say? Hell yes. Definitely. And what about Chloe? I don't like her. I don't like the fact that she immediately decided to put ice on my head as a dare. <laughs> let's say yes, because she could redeem herself. And I believe in second chances. Pumpkin believes in second chances. Yeah, let's just say yes. Now, let's see what Pumpkin Chop's dates have to say about her. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine. Chris, do you vote for Pumpkin Chop's to say, I do? Yes, okay. And Theo? Uh, uh, what? Are you joking? There was the strongest connection. You're lying. This is a lie. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Pumpkin Chops, but I didn't feel a connection. You're a, that's a lie. I regret even saying yes to you. All right, Pumpkin Chops, fate relies on Chloe. I'm really glad that I said yes to Chloe. <laughs> Chloe, do you want Pumpkin Chops to stay on Love on Fire? Well, absolutely, I had the best time with her. Pumpkin Chops is staying, no thanks to Theo. I can't believe that he would turn on us like that. How dare he? Stop doing dumb sh Time for your first date. Over the course of the competition, you'll have the chance to spend more time with people you met today. And we'll also throw in housemates you haven't met yet. So let's see who you matched with. Hey, it's Asher. It was fun meeting you earlier. I'd love to get to know you better. I'm from Sydney, Australia. Okay. I love the outdoors. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do an Australian accent. Hey, pumpkin chops. You really stood out to me today. You didn't stand out to me. I'd love to spend more time with you and see if we have a connection. You were so fun at the pool today. Oh, you're the person that I kissed. Help me. In case you forgot, I'm Henley Fitzpatrick. I'm from New York. I DJ at night and waitress by day and I make really good pasta. That's a plus. Okay, who am I gonna choose? Who am I gonna choose? I don't wanna choose Chris. I don't wanna choose her. I don't wanna choose him. I don't like any of them. <sighs> I don't really like Chris, but at the same time, he seems super into me. So it's like surviving, but I'm looking for love. So I can't just choose the people who seem into me. Henley was just kind of weird. She's a nice girl, but she needs to find somebody else. She needs to find love here and it's not going to be with me. Asher, I just don't think that he looks good. And I don't think, I don't know. He has an Australian accent. We all know this. Maybe that would keep me interested enough in talking to him for the date. Ugh, let's just do Asher. Let's do him. Ugh, great choice. I don't know. Any tips? Yes, Asher is really attracted to women who aren't afraid to be themselves. Me. Good thing that's me. There we go. That's like the first time that we've both had the same thought. Sup? This is some fancy champagne. Would you like to do the honors? Yes. One, two, three. Hey you two, welcome to our first team event. You're about to compete against other couples in a fashion runway show. I thought this was supposed to be a date. I was wondering why you were in a dressing room. Why are you in a dressing room on your date? Why is this the date? Your goal is to win by getting a perfect 10 on our heat meter. What's a heat meter? Now take a look at your competition. Yeah, no, we're better than you. Isadora and Hugo just got a nine out of 10, which is the highest score of the day. We can beat them. 
we can do better. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Our top score gets to spend the day at the Love on Fire penthouse with a rooftop pool and private bartender. So you two need to make a big impression up there on the stage. I'm good at that. I can make a big impression. I don't know about a good impression. We can do it. You definitely can. And I have the perfect idea. What's up your sleeve, Henry? I'm going to dress both of you in a theme. Wasn't that what the other couple was dressed in? A theme? Strut your stuff as a sexy diva. Um, that's so basic. Or turn heads as a golden goddess. This is gonna be one of those moments where I'm given a really basic choice or a choice to use gems that I don't have to make something cooler. I already know what is happening. Okay, I obviously like that one better. You'll definitely make a strong first impression in one of my outfits. Which one will it be? Yep. Okay, I don't have any gems. I'm just gonna stick with shorts and a tank. I don't need any gems. Hmm, interesting choice. What do you, you pay for it then? Strut your stuff with Asher. What, what does that mean? What do I do? Oh, I'm doing nothing. Let's do something funky. That's not, that's just grinding on him. That's not funky. Let's do something goofy. That is amazing. More of that, please. Yes. That was pretty good. You got a seven out of 10. It may not be the Love on Fire penthouse, but we're still sending you on a proper date. You're going to a bar. Cool, that's fine. Yay! <laughs> we have different moods. And heads up, America will be voting on their favorite couple after the dates. So let loose and have fun. I have a really good feeling about you two. You had a really good feeling about me and Theo and Theo stabbed me in the back and murdered me. So I don't really trust your judgment, honestly. That was wild. I'm gonna say you'd make a great model. Nice compliment. You are a natural up there. That's not what I said, Pumpkin. Thanks, I've never done anything like that before. I wanna get to know you better. Let's play a little icebreaker game. What is on brand for Pumpkin right now? Keep it light and fun. She keeps everything light and fun. I feel like that's a given that doesn't need to be said. Downing our drinks means that she's in it for a good time, but maybe she's really nervous. Maybe she needs drinks in order to do this game, which is totally not true at all. Awesome is good because it's like, yeah, let's just do it. I'm not thinking about this too much. Let's do awesome. Ask me anything. What's your type? Pumpkin's had the sexy types before. She's had the pretty boys. It's never worked out for her. So we can't choose that. Brainy and brawny, that's literally what Asher looks like. He looks like the guy on the, what is it? The toilet paper? The paper towels? He looks like the guy in the paper towels. Confident and adventurous. She needs something exciting in her life. She needs something fun. I think if I said Brainy and Brawny, then that's gonna exclude Asher. And we can't do that. We want him to like us. So confident and adventurous. No, we don't want him to like us. We want to be honest about who we are and what we like. So if that doesn't include him, then he can leave. I want brains and brawn. Someone who will challenge me intellectually and keep things spicy in the bedroom. That's not what I said. Why? Why? Do you think I live up to that type? No, but I don't want to make him feel bad and have this spoil the evening. So I'm just gonna say 100% yes. Maybe he'll show me that he is intellectual. You know, we don't know each other yet. He could be, I don't know. That's probably the most honest thing. She's not sure yet. She doesn't know him. She doesn't know who he is. She's not gonna suck up to him. She's not gonna say 100% yes and boost his ego for what? Let's see how this date goes. That's pretty good. Okay, your turn. Okay, what's number one on your travel list? What did you dream about last night? What's the weirdest thing about you? What's the weirdest thing about you? That's on brand for her. Okay, I don't tell many people this, but I totally geek out over the apocalypse. What apocalypse? What is he referring to? Does he know something that we don't? How do you mean? <laughs> like, I love the walking dead. What would you do if zombies took over? What is <laughs> Bite back? Get on a spaceship to Mars. I'd be so screwed. Get on a spaceship to Mars? She doesn't, she's not a Mars girl. Pumpkin and I aren't Mars girls. So I think bite back. Bite back, of course. Ha, I've never heard that one before. I love that. Do you? You're really something, Pumpkin Chops. I'm into it. I've heard that before from Theo, who betrayed me. I don't know if I trust you yet. I'm dying to know. How on earth are you single? 
I don't know. I haven't met the right person yet. Monogamy is so last year, no time. She has been scouring the globe to find that perfect guy for her. She's looked everywhere and she is not gonna stop until she finds him. She wants to settle down, she's ready. She's in her 40s, so she just hasn't met the right person yet. I've met a lot of the wrong people, haha. -ha. So that's why you came on Love on Fire? I guess, I dig it. Asher takes your hand, Oh. He smiles nervously and leans in. Butterflies leap in your stomach as you realize he's about to kiss you. Hello, you two. Hello, you two. Hello, you two. As you know, America is voting for their favorite couple as we speak. You're currently number two. I'm assuming I have to pay if I want to be number one. Here's the current ranking. Hugo and Isadora, Asher and Pumpkin Chops, Cade and Cassie. I'm here because y'all deserve to be number one. Remember that to win Love on Fire, you need to get a proposal at the end. Every couple that's ever won America's Favor on day one made it to the final proposal round of Love on Fire. And if you win America's Favorite, you'll take a limo to Cancun's finest hotel for a spa night. I love the idea of being alone with you and furthering our relationship. I don't know if I feel the same. Same. <laughs> so what should we do to beat Isadora and Hugo? There are literally thousands of posts from our viewers begging you to show them a super hot kiss. Oh my God, Asher, I wanna give you the hottest kiss of your life. Stop talking, pumpkin. I didn't tell you to say that. You have no idea how badly I wanna kiss you right now. Kiss Asher and win America's favorite couple, let Hugo and Isadora win. There should be a way to win and not pay. I'm just gonna let him win because we don't need this. We don't need this, we don't need to pay. I guess we'll have to see what happens tonight. Henry, can you excuse us for a sec? Sure thing, say your goodbyes. What? Come here, we're finishing what we started. Oh, okay. Asher brings your face to his and draws you in to a steamy kiss. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, like and subscribe, and I will see you next week with another video. Okay, peace. And I'm on the block, and I'm on the block, yeah. And I'm on the block, and I'm up.